Welcome back. Uh, next session is uh, what's new to pass keys on Google platforms, partner case studies, and Google product updates. Uh, we have uh, AG and Kate from uh, Google. Well, please welcome. Hello, hello. Can you hear me well? Just checking. Perfect. Uh, welcome to our session. Yes, we're going to talk today about what's new to pass keys on Google platforms. And we will share different Google product updates as well as partner case studies. Before we begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Kate. I'm working on Android and helping Android developers building amazing apps. And specifically right now, I'm working on authentication APIs and pass keys. And hand it over to AG. Hello, everyone. My name is AG. Uh, I think some of you may recognize me as the guy who's speaking about passkeys on Google YouTube channel. Uh, I'm the one, and writing articles about passkeys. Uh, I'm a developer advocate and the identity tech lead from a Chrome developer recent team. Uh, I'm based in Tokyo. Thank you. Thank you, Eiji. So today's agenda, we'll go over passkeys on Android and Chrome, and uh, we'll talk about Google Password Manager as a Google passkey provider. Then we'll talk about how we're going to unify all authentication APIs. And then uh, at the end, we'll share different case studies. We'll share Kayak case study and Meravia case study, and also passkeys on Google account. So we will learn from these experiences. Um, but before we begin, uh, can we? I just, I just have a question to audience. How many of you here working on Android or have Android engineer in the team? Could you raise your hand? Oh, perfect. OK. I see you guys. You're my favorite. <laughs> uh, how many of you guys working on web? OK, we have a big audience, too. Nice, nice. You're my favorite, too, by the way. <laughs> so um, yeah, definitely, if you're working on Android, this is uh, the right information for you. But if you have Android engineer in your team, please share with them as well, because it's very important. Um, so previously, on Android, there were lots of different APIs that uh, supported authentication. For example, one-tap sign-in, sign-in with Google, uh, smart lock for uh, passwords, and many others. And we were thinking how we should introduce passkeys through what API and how users can transition seamlessly from passwords to passkeys and how to simplify developers' life at the same time to have one library for them that supports different kinds of APIs. Um, that's why this year we introduced Credential Manager API that supports different ways of authentication. So you don't need to worry about how many like, libraries you need to integrate or what kind of libraries you need. You just need one credential manager for authentication on Android. Because it supports passkeys, passwords, and other federated sign-ins, such as sign-in with Google. And it's also very simple for a user experience. Um, it has very simple UI. Users just need to select the account to authenticate. And then if they use passkeys, they just need to unlock their screen. Very simple authentication. And in this one single step, they have also multi-factor authentication. So simple UI for users, one single API for developers, and also multi-factor authentication. But as I mentioned, Credential Manager consolidates different authentication methods. And if user has, for example, passwords or passkeys or any other methods, they can also use sign in with other methods. And they can choose what way they want. But by default, we prefer passkeys. If user has enabled passkeys, this is definitely uh, much more secure than passwords. And Credential Manager API chooses the safest way of authentication by default. We're also happy to share that Credential Manager right now is available in beta. But in a couple of weeks, we are releasing the final stable release version that you can use. So this is very exciting. How about? Credential managers, how we save passkeys right now. So previously, before Android 14, passkeys were saved on Google Password Manager. But starting from Android 14, users are able to save passkeys in their preferred credential provider. For example, they can save as Google Password Manager, or 1Password, or Dashlane, or NPass, or any other providers that support passkeys. So it's available to users right now. And they can sync across accounts, of course. We were thinking, OK, so what shall we do with other APIs, right? Um, 
So going forward, we are planning to invest heavily in Credential Manager. We are planning to build more features on top. And we are at the same time deprecating other APIs. So one of the API that is smart lock for passwords, it was already deprecated. Um, we are planning to remove it this year. So highly recommend, if you're still using it, it was deprecated for a year, highly recommend to migrate to Credential Manager instead. And we have a, a very good guide how to integrate this migration, uh, this Credential Manager. What does it mean actually that it will be removed? Are your apps gonna work? Yes, all existing apps that were built before and that, that are available in Play Store, they're still gonna work, nothing gonna happen to them. But if you try to build a new app, this API will not be available to you in the new SDK. And at the same time, we are sunsetting other APIs. We are deprecating one tap sign in, password saving, sign in with Google button, and sign in for Android APIs. It will be deprecated from Google Identity Services this year. What does it mean for you? You still have access to this API. They're just gonna be marked as deprecated. But we also highly recommend you to have a plan over the next year to migrate to Credential Manager. Because it's one library, again, that we are heavily investing in the future. We believe that this is uh, gonna be a future of authentication because it also supports pass keys. And it's also the same user experience for everybody. If you want to integrate Credential Manager right now, please use these resources. Uh, follow this link or scan a barcode Take a picture and uh, check out all the available information. We're also planning to publish more information over the time, different partner case studies or different migration guides if you uh, need to specific um, migration guides available. So we're gonna publish even more documentation later. But right now you have everything available to you. And now I'm headed over to AG to talk about Chrome. Thank you, Kate. In 2018, uh, Chrome announced support for WebAuthn, the standard browser API that support later support passkeys. It opened up the door for many websites uh, to bring strong authentication for users. And last year, we announced the support for passkeys in Chrome. It's important to note that WebAuthn is available across many different platforms, uh, including macOS, Windows, Android, and so on. Each platform has its unique passkey infrastructure, which Chrome is trying to uh, better all cooperate with. And there are some updates I would like to highlight today about uh, our support for passkeys in Chrome. First, on macOS, Chrome started to support creating a passkey, storing it to iCloud Keychain. This video that you are seeing is showing, shows how you can sign in to a, a website using a passkey stored to an iCloud Keychain. Before we supported uh, iCloud, before, I, we support, before we support iCloud Keychain, Chrome was only able to store passkeys locally to Chrome profile, which doesn't synchronize. Being able to use iCloud Keychain means that stored passkeys are now being synchronized across different uh, Apple devices that have the same iCloud account. Because the old passkeys created on uh, Chrome on iOS or iPadOS are already stored to you iCloud keychain and synchronized across Apple devices, this means that if you are using a Mac, iPad, or iOS, uh, sorry, iPhone, can expect a seamless sign-in experience um, using passkeys without friction. Storing passkeys in iCloud keychain is available from macOS uh, 13.5 and later, including the new macOS Sonoma. There is nothing web developers need to change in their uh, website implementation because it behaves the same way as Safari. Note that uh, the old way of storing passkeys locally to Chrome profile continues to be available and users can choose to do so and not synchronize their passkeys. You can learn more about Chrome passkeys on iCloud Keychain on our announcement blog post. 
and a couple of updates from Chrome on Android. When you want to sign in on a desktop browser uh, that doesn't have a passkey, your passkey stored, you can use your phone to scan the QR code from the desktop and use the user verification on the uh, phone to sign in. For example, if you, uh, sorry, the same feature is now available on Chrome on Android. For example, if you are on Android device that doesn't have your passkey yet, uh, you can pick up your phone, for example, an iPhone, to scan the QR code that is displayed on Android device and use your iPhone to uh, use a user verification on that to authenticate on the Android phone. Another update is the Chrome team is currently working to add third-party uh, password manager support in Chrome as well. With this change, users will have a choice about uh, the default Google password, uh, sorry, have a choice about whether they want to use the default uh, Google password manager or third-party provider in Android. This will make users uh, be able to use uh, third-party password manager on Chrome on Android in the future. Finally, we recommend that relying parties deploy passkey endpoints well-known URL. As more websites uh, start offering passkeys, passkey uh, providers and relying parties want to help users upgrade their accounts from passwords to passkeys. All you need to do is to put up a JSON file up on your server that points to uh, the URL of the users can create a passkey and manage their passkeys. This will help users not get lost navigating general account settings. So if you're working for a relying party, um, we will encourage you to uh, set up this passkey endpoints well-known URL. And if you are working for a platform provider or a passkey, sorry, passkey provider, password manager, please consider adopting leveraging, leveraging this uh, passkey endpoints well-known URL to help users adopt passkeys, create passkeys. And all the information I shared today is available up on this screen, uh, the QR code. Now let me hand it back to Kate to talk about case studies. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, please take a picture. Just want to make sure everybody can do it, okay? Good. Cool, let's talk about partner case studies. Today, many websites and applications already started adopting passkeys. And we are just featuring a few of them today, but there are many, many more. So for example, TikTok, PayPal, Kayak, Mirabia, WhatsApp, DocuSign, Uber, Instacart, Mercari, and many others like Yahoo Japan and many, many, many others already started adopting passkeys on their apps and websites. Yeah, if you wanna take a screenshot, please. So check out the implementations. Some of these apps, uh, they're doing A-B testing right now, and that's why it might be not available to you right away, but some of these apps been for a while and uh, fully rolled out on production, such as Kayak or Miravia. Um, today, we're gonna share these stories. So Kayak, they uh, had previously relied on passwords, and they used Magic Link to actually, as a second of multi-factor authentication. Um, it, of course, introduced lots of user friction and uh, wasn't um, very easy for users to, to switch from Kayak application, then find that magic link, click on it, and authenticate. But passwords, but just using passwords is not very secure. So they started thinking what else they can use, how they can simplify their authentication. And they started looking at passkeys a year ago. They were like pioneering this uh, and adopting passkeys as a first uh, early application. So with passkeys, they reduced sign-in time by 50%. Can you imagine this? And they also reduce support tickets. So for them, this transition was super beneficial for their business, and they're happy to share that they want to actually get rid of passwords by the end of the year. 
So let's support them with this transition. And I'm hoping that everybody here also can have this successful story. Please share with us. We would be happy to feature you too. And I'll pass it over to AG to talk about other partner. Miravia is an e-commerce platform launched by Alibaba uh, for Spanish market. Initially, they used two-factor authentication with email, which didn't have the greatest sign-in success rate, only 67%. After deploying passkeys, they, the sign-in success rate improved to 95%, significantly higher than any other authentication method they, that they offer. In addition to these success stories, uh, we'd like to share Google's exper uh, experience. In May this year, Google accounts started supporting passkeys. And last week, we announced that we have made passkeys available by default for all users. This means users can create a passkey and use it to sign into google.com using the device they use daily. We've learned a lot over the last few months. These are some of the learnings. Passkeys work really well in repeated sign-ins. They're 40% uh, faster than passwords. 64% users find passkeys easier than passwords. 62% users find passkeys safer than passwords. And only up to 10% users find them, uh, find them Less, safer, less safe or harder to use. If you haven't created a passkey, uh, even though I said that the passkeys are available by default, it's rolling out, so maybe your account is not uh, eligible yet, uh, you can expedite and just um, enable passkeys through this URL, g.co slash passkeys. You can enable it right now. And last but not least, to accelerate our way into the passwordless world, we are organizing a week-long social media campaign called Passkeys Week. Monday through Friday, next week, next week, our social media channels will post a series of content related to Passkeys. Please take advantage of this opportunity to use a hashtag Passkeys Week to promote your product that support Passkeys. Feel free to join us using this Passkeys Week hashtag. And on 25th October, we'll host a live streamed Q&A session with Kate, uh, Arnold Burgesson, and Adam Langley from Google Team Google on Google for Developers YouTube channel. We run Q&A session. Uh, we hope many of you will participate in this Passkeys Week, and uh, um, we can extend this excitement of this Authenticate conference to outside world uh, and encourage developers to adopt Passkeys. And that's all we have. Uh, we'll be hanging out in the venue, and we have a Google booth there so uh, if you have any questions, you can just come by. Uh, do we have like a five minutes yeah. left? OK. And also, please note that we have a workshop session on the third day starting at 1230. So uh, I, I think it's only announced recently. So if you haven't noticed yet, uh, please sign, it, sign up for it. You wanna? Yeah. Four questions. Okay. Yes. Let me see if we can bring it up to, uh, to you. Oh, not there. <laughs> uh, there you go. On Android, generally there is no consistency in terms of what authentication, uh, in terms of what authentication method is invoked, like a pattern, pin, or biometric. Is there a uh, preference Google follows around? This is, uh, this so uh, RPs can anticipate the UX their cardholder will go through. Okay, I can, I guess, answer the Please. question. So the question is like, there's no consistency across UX on Android, right? Like what, what are the Google recommendation is? 
Yeah, um, so as I said today, our recommendation is to use Credential Manager API because it has consistent UI. And uh, if you implement this UI, it's a system UI, it's gonna be shown to the user in the same way. And uh, it will allow users to use whatever preferred way of authentication they have. Um, so if they have passkeys, for example, if you ask them to create passkeys, they would just need to use them and unlock their screen. So whatever they have for unlocking their screen would be used for authentication. So it could be PIN or a biometric, but it's gonna be up to the user. And of course, Passkey is going to be stored on the, on the user device and uh, securely encrypted, so nobody can access them. And that's why it also enables like a, another step of uh, security here. So please use Credential Manager API. This is going to be a unified UI and one library for all. Great, thanks, Katie. Uh, maybe next one. Uh, does the RP get an indication of where the passkey being used for sign-in is stored? Google or Dashlane, for example. Sorry, could you repeat that? Okay, let me try again. Um, does the RP get an indication of where the passkey being used for sign-in is stored? Google or Dashlane, for, for example. Yeah, it's also up to the user. So if user tap uh, more sign-in options, as uh, I previously showed on the slide, they can choose a password provider of their choice where they want to save uh, their credentials. Excellent. Maybe we can have uh, two more questions. Um, do you have a statistics uh, numbers on use of passkeys? How many en enrollments and usage across consumers? That's a very good question. I'm not sure if we can share that. <laughs> I don't see. Yeah, I can say that, yeah, we definitely see very big adoption. And uh, as I said, partners like Kayak, they wanted to get rid of password by the end of the year. So you can see that adoption is huge, but it's up to the application uh, how quickly they want to enroll all users to use passkeys, how you introduce it on UI, do you want to like slowly roll out um, or maybe do it more aggressively, so it's up to you. But on Google accounts, we definitely see lots of success rates and a big adoption. Imagine that we have uh, billions of accounts and uh, it's, it's doing great. Okay, uh, let's go for one more online. Um, do you, sorry. Do you, um, that's already answered. Okay, when do you plan to support native 5.2 NFC authentication on Android OS phones when using uh, external keys like UV keys? I'm not sure if it's planned to, to be supported. I know that there are lots of people asking about this, uh, but uh, we don't have like approximate timelines or, um, yeah. But if somebody really wants uh, and have a like big case why it needs to be supported, uh, maybe we can think about it over the next year. Okay. And maybe last one on online, is there a plan to have Google Password Manager support on Chrome across all platforms? Uh, is there a way that Google will, uh, Password Manager plan, will be Plan support? to have. Planning to have, yeah. supported on other platforms, right? Yeah. So we are thinking about it. Uh, again, uh, it's uh, up in the air, but uh, we are thinking about it, yes. Well, we, online questions are coming in. Maybe this will be the last one. Um, let's see. Can you talk about, uh, more about how someone can use their own phone to scan a QR code on another person's phone in order to use the pass key? Um, do they want to know about the case or an example? Um, let me just repeat it. Okay. <laughs> can you talk more about how someone can use their own phone to scan a QR code on another person's phone in order to use the passkey? Yeah, I, I can share my story or like if you want to. Yeah, so uh, on Chrome, on Android, you can, you can, you can try to sign in and uh, you move slightly up will show you uh, an option to display a QR code, sign in with another phone. Then you pick up another phone, scan it. Maybe it's a slightly... Uh, yeah, you just need to scan a barcode with another yeah. phone. So if you, if you like, say, sign in the other way, uh, the barcode will be shown. You can just scan it from your phone, like your camera, and then just sign in with, uh, with the other way. I tried this. Actually, I did the cross-platform authentication recently. 
uh, on another device. So my kid was asking to log in me with uh, my Google account. And since I created Pasky on Google account, I was like, okay, let's, let's test it, how it works. So I had created Paskies on my phone, and he was asking to sign in on his iPhone. And I was like, okay, let's just send in another way. Uh, I scanned barcode on his device, and it was authenticated me easily. It was just one second, and that's it. And I didn't have to enter any passcodes or anything like that. I think we're out of time, so maybe last words from you guys. Okay, sure. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Uh, we are happy to answer your questions at the Google booth. Please join us in Expo Hall. There are going to be more uh, people from Google there hanging out. And also join our workshop, which is on Wednesday, right? Yeah, I'll be there. On Wednesday, OK. And also participate in Pasky Week, which is coming next week. Super excited about it. Thank you. Next session, we start 2.35.